right, today's part kind of throws a wrench in things a little bit with some excitement here. Uh, it starts off with a three pack, but instead of them kind of climbing in order, up or down, um, it's gonna do a little bit of skipping around. So it starts on the open E, and then we're gonna play a three E, and then a one E. Yeah, so O oh, three one. This may be the trickiest part of the whole piece right here, it's just this ornament, but it's a really great payoff moment, so it's worth it to work on it. So after that three pack, the next three pack is gonna be filled with a five note roll on two E. That's a low two E. Yeah, so let's try that first three pack again, O one, O three one. And then give you a moment here to, to refresh this five note roll with low two on E. Welcome back. So let's carry on into the next bar, bar six here. It begins with 310 on A. And then open A, 3D, 1D. Again, just an ever so slightly different pattern that keeps this tune interesting, but just really staying so close to this just classic arpeggio kind of stuff that just sounds lovely. So let's do that bar again. 3101A, and then open A, 3D, 1D. Yeah, let's do bar five again. six. Yeah, and today instead of messing around with the click, let's go ahead and pyramid down and do our four stages of the five note roll. So we'll get our finger set up, O1, low two on E. Yeah, and then within a down bow here, let's practice our finger flick. So we're going to place 2E, flick with the third. Let's do it again. Yeah, and then let's do the same. We can do four of our lift drops where we're gonna lift second finger, so we're just playing the one, and then back. Stage three where we combine, let's do four of those as well. <sighs> Great, and let's just do stage four, which is essentially our five note roll. Add a click at 70 BPM. Just focusing on this one five note roll. happens in context in our piece is that we've got a three pack and then we have the five note roll on an up bow. So a really nice way to practice this with the click would just be to play a three pack and then play the five note roll on the up bow. So press pause while you get the hang of this exercise. We're just sort of stripping away all the other notes that we have to hit and everything else in the tune and really just kind of getting used to alternating between our jig bowing and a five note roll, which is a good skill to have. And now that you're back, let's put it with the click.
Yeah, there's not much happening with intonation here. So more what I was focusing on there as I was trying to improve the sound of each loop for myself was the accents. I felt that I had an opportunity to kick in with a little bit more accent each time through. <laughs> 